Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the 8 p.m. sets. Now there was just a pack in the store. I don't think you can even see it now or actually you can. Uh, it was a 92 overall plus team of the week boss blitz offer. This is a limited time. There was only I think a thousand per console. And you literally had like five minutes to go and do this. Now, you can only do one. And I did actually do one of these packs. I will show you guys that towards the end of the video. Uh, but I opened one of these packs. Got a 92 overall Team of the Week boss. And that really, really crashed the market. You take a look at my training. I have 34,000 training now. So basically, if you take a look at the Team of the Week uh, in general now, Team of the Week bosses really just fell down in price. Now, obviously, they're going to be shooting up a little bit. Uh, because the packs are out of the store and it was kind of for a very limited amount of time But this was a super easy way to get training because Jared Goff 93 overall, which now he's up to Where is he at? I don't even know where Jared Goff is at now. He's up to 300k already. He was 190k So I was getting 6200 training for 190k and I bought three of these and quick sold them for training So I literally got uh, He's 6200 training. So we got 18,600 training for about 570k that is one heck of a deal so <laughs> prices definitely fell down quite a bit and i also ended up uh picking up and you guys will see this in the video that i show you adrian amos now is 400 about 450k i bought him for 350,000 coins and now i'm gonna have him on the squad so we'll be having adrian amos on the team now and that pack definitely just crashed the market quite a bit so be on the lookout for some more limited time packs. You might see something else. I also know that T.Y. Hilton was down to like 400k, I want to say. He's about 480 now, so we did go back in price. But that pack was freaking awesome. Now, you only had a couple minutes to do it. So, if you weren't on Madden, you probably didn't get to do it. Luckily, I was not in a game or anything when that did actually happen. But, let me show you guys what came out with the APM sets. And that pack was probably one of the best packs that we will see for a while. Um, they might actually drop like Fire Fantasy packs as well, which I really hope they do. But we did just get Eric Ebron and Vic Beasley for the 8 p.m. set. And I will show you guys those players right now. Honestly, they're actually pretty good. Uh, at least Eric Ebron, in my opinion, is actually really, really, really underrated. So let's see here. Uh, we'll start by Blitz. And let's see. Vic Beasley is going for 30K. <laughs> wow. That is really cheap. Now, of course, there's a lot of these cards out, so they're going to be going for pretty cheap now. They might go up in price a little bit later, but he has 86 speed. We can just compare him to Mac. 86 speed with 87 Excel, so he's really, really fast. Fashion and Cleo Mac. 82 strength with 80 tackling, 79 play rec, 83 block shed, 83 finesse move. I don't understand this card as an 87 overall. Like, he's really fast, but he doesn't have good strength. He doesn't have good tackle, play rec, block shed. Doesn't have a good pass rush at all. This card is really bad for an 87 overall card. Only have 83 finesse move. And obviously he's a defensive end. He's a pass rusher, but he only has 83 finesse. This card can generate about negative pass rush with a 59 zone coverage, 81 stamina, and an 88 hit power. That card is just bad. That card is just bad in general. Uh, Eric Ebron, how much is he going for right now? I'm kind of curious. 120k for a 91 overall. That's actually really good in terms of training points if you want to go and get him for training. But Eric Ebron right now, I want to compare him even to Greg Olson. This card is actually super, super good. Now, he doesn't have a power up, but he has 87 speed compared to 84, 78 strength compared to 75, 91 catch, 89 catch of traffic, also has 91 spec catch, 85 short route running, 82 medium route running with a 71 run block, and an 89 excel. So he's actually really, really fast. He is 6 of 4. He's got pretty solid catching stats for a 91 overall card as well. I gotta say, this card is actually pretty underrated for a 91 overall. So, Eric Ebron came out, not too bad. And also, uh, we do have, I don't think he's in packs yet, uh, we have a limited time Tredavious White, which I believe comes out at, I want to say midnight tonight, so maybe I'll have another video coming out for you guys tonight, way late, so it looks like we're going to be doing quite a few videos tonight as well, uh, a limited time Tredavious White coming out at midnight, so maybe I'll do a video opening some packs for him as well if you guys want to see that, but I will show you guys that Team of the Week boss poll right now.
What's going on guys? As of right now, we have a limited quantity, 92 overall, team of the week, boss, for 2200 points in the store. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Hopefully we can get ourselves somebody good. Let me get Adrian almost, please. Let me get somebody good. We get ourselves Gino Atkins. Dang it, man. So we got Gino. Honestly, I can't be too mad at that. But wait, can I have more than one? It says personal limit of one. If I can open another, I'm open another. Ah, dang it. So unfortunately, we did not get uh, something super, super glitchy. But we did get Geno Atkins. I figured I'd record this right now. Uh, I'm sure you guys have probably seen this at the end of my um, 8 p.m. sets, I believe. So, dang, man. I wish we could do another one. But we did end up getting Geno Atkins. How much is he actually going for? Uh, let's see. I didn't even know this was in store. Someone actually DM me on Twitter and let me know. Let me, yeah, let me know that it was actually in the store. And Geno Atkins is plummeting in price, 186K. So that means that if he's going for that cheap right now, that means I can actually go ahead and pick up Adrian Amos for a little bit cheaper. So right now, guys, if you are on, take a look at the Team League boss items because I'm sure they are going down way, way hard in price. And this was definitely a very, very cool pack for them to add in. Uh, right now we have, let's see, Team League Boss, 94-95. Wow, TY is 390k. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, the other 92 overalls, we have J Jared Goff. Wow, 198k? For a 93, that's insane training points, actually. I might have to pick him up for really cheap and quick sum for the training. Cam Newton's 225k. Akeem Hicks, Robert Woods, uh, Darius Leonard. How much is... Where's he at? Adrian Amos. I really, really want to get this Adrian Amos. 350K. I'm, I'm pulling the trigger. We got Adrian Amos for 350K. Welcoming, welcoming him to the squad. Uh, yeah, pretty good pull. So we did actually end up getting Geno Atkins. Sadly, we did not get the best possible pull you could have got. But honestly, I cannot even be mad with how much I was just able to make off that. With the fact that we were able to get some training points off that. And a ton of these players were really cheap. Picked up Adrian Amos, and I actually held on. By the way, if, if you guys are opening those packs, highly suggest you hold on to the players for a little bit because Geno Atkins, when I pulled him, you guys saw, I think he was like 180, 190K. I just sold him for like 220,000 coins. So just hold on to the players. If they if you guys see like a, a Fire Fantasy pack, right? Obviously, if there's like a full legend in it, um, the legend player is going to go down in price. So buy legend players and just resell them later. Obviously, you will get a little bit of tax, but... Training purposes and also the fact that look at this, Adrian Amos now is 500k. I bought him for 350. If I wanted to sell the card, I can make a hundred thousand coins profit even after tax. So really, it's a great way if you're not going to spend the points to actually go ahead and buy the pack, or if you do, hold on to the player, wait until the pack comes out of the store, and then wait like five, ten more minutes, and prices will start to rise again. Then you can go ahead and pick it yourself up, you know, or resell. Uh, whoever you pulled or whoever you bought off the auction block and make profit off them. It's just a quick little tip for you guys. And you can do the same thing with Legends and whatever else they decide to do. Like if they do, um, like say they do a Harvest pack. Uh, like a 93 overall Harvest All-Star player, which they definitely could possibly do later. 93 overall Harvest players right now go for about 330k. Now if they release that pack, these players could drop to maybe 250 or a little bit less than that, even, to be honest. I mean, if, if there's a lot of them, they could drop to, like, 250K. Now, what you can do with that as well is take advantage of that and do a set, like Lawrence Taylor, Walter Payton, and get them done for, like, a million coins, and you could sell LT, you could sell Walter Payton, and you'd only lose about 250,000 coins. And you'd have four Harvest players, five Harvest players, actually. So, really, it's not too bad. Uh, if something comes out, guys, just keep in mind, price will go down, buy hold on to them for a couple minutes maybe like 15 minutes whatever however many packs they decide to drop in store which i'm sure something else will probably be coming out later tonight maybe like midnight or something if they decided to do this these packs expire in three hours maybe we'll get some type of limited not exactly sure what maybe like a legend bundle that would be pretty cool but just buy players when they're cheap sell them back when they're higher 
But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I did actually drop a video going over the Tredavious White and also the Legends that we will be having coming out for you guys tomorrow. So make sure you guys go and check that video out. Thank you guys for all the support today. We are closing in on like 600 subscribers today, which is just insane. Thank you guys for all that. As you guys know, we are getting pretty close actually to 50,000 subscribers at the time of recording this video. I think we're like a little bit over 3,000 away, like 3,200 or something. So we're pretty freaking close. We might actually hit that before even Christmas. We're getting New Year's. We're probably going to hit that before Christmas. So if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that sub button and smack the like button down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.